Welcome to Low Budget. Let's check out a Bubbles Big Adventure Park Quattro. This is Ron Moore along with the Wee Guy and the J-Man. I'll get you, turtle! Shredder! Where's the turtle? <laughs> no, it's Crank B! Because of Kirby! Oh, yeah. That's right, it's not Crank. It's Crank... <laughs> crank... <laughs> Kirby... Crank... Kirby... Crank... crank. Fail. Uh oh. oh. Here we go, hot job. Go mill yeah. slug on your ass. Oh yeah, there was the uh, level eight shrimp baby thing. Whatever. Oh, we, we got shrimp on the ball bay. <laughs> yeah, we're also here with purple whoop whoop. Maybe not. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> I was waiting. Oh, well, either way, it's still, you know, it's us. The replacements for the other two guys that were previously here. <laughs> the Expendables. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Yep. Oh, that was bang. Oh, this game is so fantastical. Where was Kirby going? Away to level three. <laughs> yeah. Going to Dreamland. Fly, Kirby, yes, fly I'll away! Fall level. Just as cheap here? Oh god. Who is that? Bear? That's, uh, that's River uh, City Ransom. Yeah, River City uh. Ransom. Yeah, there was actually a uh, part in one of the earlier ones. Oh yeah, Kid Icarus. I'm finished. Um, but yeah. Ooh, uh, Who? uh... Master Higgins right there. Um... What game was he from? Yeah. Uh, in Adventure the Island. part of this, um... Oh. Yeah, there was a River City Ransom type thing. Yeah, the character <laughs> Alex. He was in the first level, fighting in the double dragon stage, and then he appeared again in the urban champion stage. Yeah. Wait a minute. We... Wait, these little, uh... On the, the, these fires on the ground right here, what game are those from? I believe that's from every game. <laughs> those fires, those are from uh, Contra. Oh yeah, Contra, what game is that? I don't know, but you didn't get the barrier. <laughs> Actually, uh, I forgot to mention this. Venom recorded this footage, but he was not able to be with us in this recording, and it's been over a week since we did part three, and he couldn't be with us today, so went ahead and did right. it. So this is actually Venom playing. And, and there are replacements here. The yeah, we, all, uh, we all feel poisoned by yeah. the Venom. <laughs> so let's make fun of Venom's gameplay. No, uh, Venom, you suck. Just kidding. <laughs> Now what? Uh, what anime is that game? No. Out, so, you know. Ah, Ryu, Hayabusa, where's Ken? Oh, that's on Street Fighter. Oh wait. <laughs> zombies! Zombies! Stinger. Let me guess. Uh, some game. I don't know what game. It's called Stinger. <laughs> the game is called Stinger by Konami. Oh really? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I can pretty much, yeah, that's, I'm not gonna go on there and be like, oh, that game's from this, and he's from this, and this, because I actually do know what each character is from what game. But no, that's fine. You I'm can not do gonna... that. It's the, the people I can't stand are the ones that say, like in Metroid, someone told me one time, those things are called zippers, and these are called rippers. If You, you should know the names. Get it right. All right, Mr. Butthurt, I'll remember that next time. Yeah. yeah, but this is just a matter of what game they're from. I mean, it says the name, but it's just where they're from. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, I've never heard of Urban Champ until this game. Right, well, um, who made oh. the music? Oh dear god. <laughs> no, it's sadly no Tim Foley music was in this, uh, was in this game. No yeah. tracks. At least I- No, no, no! There is one! Because I actually, I didn't realize it because I never died in this game. But when you die, the, uh, continue music from Target Renegade plays. Ah. Uh, yep, they, they had put- they had a Target that. Renegade reference even in this game! Amazing, and that what's totally told me that this, this game, game was like. This game sucks for amazing. that reason. This game sucks for that reason. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, music was the best part, man. I know it, it doesn't matter, of course. Whatever we're targeting is brought up. You just want to do whatever you can to make fun of it. I know. <laughs> yeah, what should we call Target? Uh, Rick okay. Gay. Gatorade. No, yeah, Target Renegade. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. What's That's Target new. Gatorade? <laughs> anyway, anyway, Kirby sp boss fight. Speaking of, speaking of <laughs> his bear. So big and god! Like seriously, this was like oh god. 
Rage! Kill him! Bro! What is he, a blue Pokemon now? This is my country! It's not yours! Up the back! Yeah, it's fuck you, Kirby. I'll die for this guy. Oh god! All oh, the references! <laughs> I can name them all. Look, there's uh, the, the, uh, the, um, and karate, uh, and the kung fu, and, uh, yeah. Come in. And. Yeah, see, that would have been a perfect part for Angel right there. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's not dead yet. And then Alpha 621 would have been like, yeah. <gasps> Doc Lewis! That's Carl Winslow. Shut up. With mashed potatoes. Wait. With the uh, pillowy mound. I know who has po' boy. I mean, a bo' boy. Po' oh, boy. <laughs> I have the a bo' boy sandwich, please. I was training Ron Moore before he went crazy. No. <laughs> he punched Luigi, damn it. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, he's, oh, trying, he's trolling you, we got. Yeah, whatever. A Balto would not go out like that. Yeah, <laughs> right. Fuck it. Whoa. Oh, somebody's smoking a joint. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like it. Kind of. Awesome, sure. I met, a, you I, I, met a, I met a Bobo before. He's a pretty nice guy. Bobo <gasps> Max sad because because he stole his bike. Yeah. Not bike, that's why Bobo he stole my bike. A Bobo's <laughs> carrying me by. Oh, Kogan! I'm coming for you, nigga, stole my bike! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was surprised because this is the first time a Bobo didn't just kill someone. He actually made friends with him. <laughs> yeah. When he needed his uh, boxer this training tower, skills. This, this game is um, is insensitive. I see the Twin Towers. Crazy! Yeah. <laughs> the final, final boss. boss. Oh, I hated this final boss. It wasn't that bad, but it took me oh, some time because I suck at Mike Tyson's punch out. Yeah, I bet you do suck. Oh, and that's because it was reversed too, which you guys will very much see. Yeah. This totally fucked me up even bigger that it's you're like the in the opponent's place. Yeah, that I've just always, uh, I've always thought it'd be cool to like play as the different boxers in the game. And it's kind of like your yeah way of of them of you being that. Yeah. Now you can kind of in a bubble's big adventure you can play as a rip off a ball pool here. Awesome. A ball a ball pool a ball pool a ball pool. Yeah, you tried. All right. Yeah, imagine so. Imagine how hard though Mac is, since he apparently beat Mr. Dream and Mike Tyson, or the same fighters basically. But beat everybody. If Little Mac could beat those guys, imagine having to fight Little Mac himself. How hard he's going to beat. He was. I mean, seriously. Yeah. I don't know how long this fight took. It probably took me like close to two. Or actually, maybe like thirty minutes. Oh, yeah, I just oh. like, okay, like, the, the, the second fight with Bulbul in, uh, Mike Tyson Punch-Out. Yeah, that, that was, was pretty, that's pretty challenging, yeah. If you had to knock him out in Star Punch, or knock him, even knock him down. Or, or you had to, or that, or you had to hit him in his stomach when he charged at you, or something like that? Right, yeah. And then he'd, he'd do, like, the half charge, the bullshit half charge. Yeah, Bulbul bullshit. Yeah, bubbles. bubbles. Yep. Stop, Jinx. Join the Nintendo Fan Club. Oh, uh, he's 9 on and 0. Oh. He beat the Undertaker's winning streak. Yeah, right. So do the Bobo. 9,999 wins. Pretty much how many enemies you killed this whole game. <laughs> yeah. Get Soda Pop Penske in here. I know, right? Yeah, that would have actually been much better. This is the ECW match. There's blood everywhere. Yeah, bring the blood. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I like this game because it has ECW wrestling boxing matches. Yeah, the previous part that did. <laughs> yeah. Was it? Yeah, with the wrestling. Yeah, it did, yeah. So, if this is ECW, then Tommy Dreamer is fighting... Uh... I don't know, some... Are you, are you talking about Rocky Five? <laughs> no, Tommy Dreamer from ECW. 
Oh, okay. I was thinking of, uh, whatever. Oh, not Tommy Tom Gun. Machine Gun, or yeah. Or as the unknown would say, Tommy the Gun. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. This is Boxer versus Wrestler match. Roddy Piper versus Mr. Keaton. Looks like he's trying to suck a cock, honestly. This ain't Ring King. Oh, shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, the hell? Uh-oh. Oh, oh shit, Oh, Mars. shoot. Oh, no, he's got the Metroid missile or the rockets. Yep. He's got the E-Tank, too. Oh, what the fuck? Uh-oh. Big Mac. Uh -oh. Copyright infringement. Yeah. Now it's own. And <laughs> Venom. I can't believe he did this so good. Yeah. Well, Wait, he used the actual controller, not the keyboard. Not people can play a game on the keyboard. But anyway, oh here we go. Oh yes, yes, Finish yes. <laughs> yes it is. Yes. Oh, I love this part. I love this part. Let's do this. Whoa, he got fifty thousand on double dragon. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, it's so good. There it is. All right. He's like, damn, nigga! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is great too. <laughs> Wait, well fuck this game. Come through! Pretty much the game is actually like that. <laughs> yeah. Well hello there, Zamus. Yes! RC Program! No, rare! Yay! That was more of a safe, but, eh, whatever. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, true fact, Iron Throne is like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Damn that 10 second loading between day and night sequence. <laughs> I'll be back! And, and boom! Six fireworks! Come on! Let's do it! No fireworks! Yes! Gotta have six. Damn it. I forgot. Uh, well. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, what's pink it? shoes on. I was gonna say, what's your pink shoes? What the shit? He's tough enough to wear it. Yay, so happy. Save the sun. The crowd chants, EC dump, EC dump, EC dump. Until? <laughs> Till what? Till what? Until rage. Oh shit, son. That's wow, the excuse that's me, you Bobo. That's the link right there, yes, yes. Well, the crowd wanted blood. They're getting it. Their own. They're getting their own blood out of them. No, they don't care. They're, they're still chaining ECWs. They're getting murdered. ECWs! Oh, shit. Well, hey, at least at least Mario got home. Oh, what the fuck? This is so fun. Why'd they up? kill Toad? Kill Toad and... Well, Tingle was not yeah, Tingle well, was in the NES game, I don't think. They got Captain N, at least. Curve Stomp. Oh my god, this is so sh- Oh, uh, I was- I did not expect it. That was- that was so fucked up. I was like, what the- It was all a dream. Or was it? I knew it. They had- they- they totally knew they were gonna go the Super Mario Bros. 2 route. Yeah. And? What's wrong with that? No, I just knew they were going to do it. Because <laughs> when they were waving at first, when I heard the Super Mario 2 ending, so I'm like, oh, they're probably going to do this, the dream ending. And they did. Shooter McGavin! Shooter McGavin! <laughs> Shooter McGavin! Yeah. Uh, you pieces of shit for breakfast? <laughs> no. Yeah. No! 
Hey, Rocky Four, Ivan Drago. I must... Where's Mega Shark? Where'd he come from? That was the boss shark. No, but what game? What real oh, game? I don't think it was a game. Oh. Is that um? Is that Carrot Top? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Galacticus, that's Silver Surfer. Gumby. No one gives a shit about your damn stupid Silver Surfer. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Tim Vaughn. Skeletor. <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, when was the Fawns in this game? No, nah, it wasn't. They're just putting random characters in here to be funny now. Oh, okay, yeah, Gumby. There's okay. a real Gumby. Gumby. Yeah, there's... Freddy Krueger. That was a firefighter. Shit, I'm on the <laughs> This is a nightmare. Uh, Doc uh, Brown. I have to tell you about the future. Inspector Gadget. Push the button. That moves. Who? What? Guybrush Treewood. I don't know. <laughs> hey, there's um, yeah, Clark uh, W. Griswold, yeah. Family Truckster. Who the heck is uh, the other one I mentioned? Whatever's Treewood. Uh, I have no idea. I think nobody knows. I, I think they threw that in there to confuse people. A bo boy, a bo bo, a dobo, a skip would say, J man. Hey! Ron Mower. Rock's power, yeah. <laughs> we guy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I had stolen my hair long, that'd be me. Viper. Viper. Bar. Do, 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 do. Aw, oh, yay, we did it. Nice, a labor of love. Yep, I did a good job in beating this game. Um. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so that's the end of uh, Bobo's ECW adventure for the NES. <laughs> uh, and yeah, yeah when so, this game come out, oh, there, there was <laughs> kind of blast processing available. Yeah, yes, come on now. And so yeah, uh, now I see. Let's discuss for this game, epic game, real fun fan made game. Um, it really is awesome to see all these NES references in, throughout the whole game. Uh, I wonder if they're going to make a sequel. That'd be awesome. Uh, I don't know. It only took them ten years to make this game. I don't know. <laughs> and Or if they uh, if they don't... I'm sure there's more NES references to do. But if, Or they could do a Bubbles SNES adventure or Big Adventure 2, which, the ultimate tribute to the SNES. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, even though he wasn't on SNES. I don't think he's on any Double Dragon games on there. It was but Super and, Double Dragon, but I forgot if he was in there. Yeah. It's not your turn yet. <laughs> no. Am anyway, uh, yeah, you shut up. I'm not done. No, um, and so, yeah, this game was real fun. I didn't really ever play it. I just I tried it on the keyboard, but I said, forget this. Uh, and then Venom played through this game. So thank you very much, Venom, for recording through this. He used the X, uh, Xbox 360 controller to play through this game. And, um, yeah, so this game is real epic. Uh, and it's hilarious. Real fun game to play. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I get this awesome game. I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. J-Man? Um, yeah, uh, besides what you just said, I haven't played this game, but this is the best thing that I've seen as, as far as, like, a NES tribute since I want to be the guy. Um, with saying that, um, as far as I've seen, this game is not nearly as hard as I want to be the guy. You know, that took, uh, there was a, there was a much bigger learning curve towards that game. And I've actually played that one and gotten very frustrated at it. Um, but yeah, there was far more NES references in this game than I want to be the guy, like completely. And I actually enjoy this one a lot more than that game. And I want to give it I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. And the reason behind that is because... Eh, I don't know. <laughs> need any more references? <laughs> what I, what I, no, I don't need any more... Thank you, we guy. No, I don't need any more references. It's just that it it seems like it's not much of a challenge. Like, I've uh, seen people get game over on this game, and then you just put in a code, and then you get, like, 
plenty of extra lives. Conjure code? Yeah. I think I mean, you don't do that in the Contra stage, can you? Pretty mm-hmm. much failed. So, you know, like, okay, for, for me, I, I like challenging the game, but just, okay, as a standalone thing that is a, is a good reference, a good nostalgia of, you know, what, what some of us grew up and enjoyed, it's freaking awesome. However, as as far as challenge, yeah, kind of kind of rates itself down in my book. And so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I think they didn't want to make it hard. I think they really just want to make it fun because it's like a fan-made game. But, yeah, I can see what you're saying. It could have probably been a little bit more challenging. Yeah. And, and the 30-man code thing, they did that for another NES reference. Um but yeah, I think they just want to dumb it down because I mean I want to be the guy's a fun game, pretty cool, but the challenge was ridiculous. But yeah, and then Abobo was kind of like, in a way, ridiculously easy. So yeah, I think uh, they uh, it would have been nice if they had that uh, medium, happy medium or challenge. But I think they didn't want to make it too hard. They want to make this game fun, enjoyable, and uh, yeah. So I think that's why I probably probably why it was easy. Or it would help if there was a difficulty setting. I don't, I don't think this game has that, does it? Nope. Okay. Well, anyway, we got... Well, all right, yes. I, uh, yeah, I played uh, Buddy the Bubble's Big Adventure, and that was... Yeah, it was totally a lot of fun, and I agree that it, it was pretty easy. Only till the last final boss was the real most difficult part, but, you know, that actually makes sense. You know, the final boss should be the most challenging part of the game. But, yeah... I'd, from the beginning to this end, this game was a lot of fun. I loved all the NES references. And not that I feel that they actually it, it uh, needs more. Actually, I felt that this game actually... It just it, it felt a little too short for, for me. And I would have actually liked it to be, to be longer. But like I said, since this game did take about 10 years to make, I mean, they probably just then wanted to just get it out. And, of course, I, I, I'm all right. I mean, I didn't just know about this game until I started till I when I did play it. But I would have liked a longer... A bit longer game and more stages and a lot more references too along with that. But still, you know, this game was fun. Good controls like the rage meter that you get. That was fun. And just totally just hilarious game too. And I would uh, give it a 9 out of 10. And sure that one just because, like, I would have liked it longer. But for what it is, it's a great tribute. Did it really take that long to make it? Yeah. It says it in the uh, on the side for the... Uh, for like the uh, bio or whatever. Wow. They probably uh, like at one time like gave up on it. And was like forget it, and then like maybe picked it up later. Yeah. I don't know that for sure. Just just an assumption. But all right. So anyway, there you go. That's our. Uh, that's it for the uh, low budget. Let's check out a Bubbo's Big Adventure series. I want to thank uh, Angel and Venom for joining us, and they wish it could have been this one, but they couldn't, and need to get this one out and uploaded. Uh, thank, thanks to Venom who recorded the footage and he would probably give this game a, a 10 out of negative 5 <laughs> and so yeah that is it we're out of here I'm Ron Moore sweet and, guy and the damn J man up in this motherfucker God bless and take care peace see ya